everyone, welcome. This is going to be my completed pages for August 2022. I made it to 15 pages. I completed one Coloropoly, one of Jamie's prompts for the month, and my to-do list is complete, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Um, this month I think I'm going to show you my favorites first, and then my not so much. Um, but I do have a couple whips I want to show you real quick. So for Jamie's watercolor prompt, I was going to do the Color It brush pens that I got in the box that they so kindly sent me. And so I started it. I didn't finish it. Um, hold on here one second. Because it was a watercolor prompt, I did not want to do a whole lot of pencil work with it. And then I didn't finish it because I didn't like it because I didn't do pencil work. So if I go back in with pencils, I'm definitely going to fix this line right here. This brown right here um, is very choppy. Other than that, I really like the brush pens. They have great colors. Um, I didn't have to add any extra water. This is just straight brush pen. Um, easy, easy to use. They weren't like super messy, juicy or anything like that. So I really like the brush pens. They do not bleed through. The only part you will see bleed through is right here. And if you follow it to the other side, that is where I had the blending, blending trouble. So I'm, I'm kind of not surprised because I layered and layered and layered trying to get them that spot to blend. Um, but I did not finish in time, so I might tackle it with pencils now. Um, because I do like this book and I don't want to have a bunch of unfinished pages I don't like in it. So this is Blissful Scenes by Color It. So I'll have to tackle, there's a couple cute pages in there, sorry, I wouldn't mind tackling. Okay, Mythographic Voyage, um, just quickly because I know a lot of you are tired of seeing these pages. The Sweets page, half of this is up on my channel before I got bumped, um, so that's why I kind of quit working on it because I did have like four parts up before my channel closed, um, and not everybody that was coloring along followed over, so... Here is the hands, really enjoying this page. I decided not to go the concrete hand route. I knew a lot of people were gonna try that. I wanted to do dirty skin. Like he just dug his hands down in the garden and pulled her up. So that's the way I went. To each their own. That is the fun thing about art is everybody's perception is different. This page, I kind of killed. Um, the bokeh background was probably too much for such a detailed page. <laughs> But I do love the colors. I like how the blue pops. I need to add another spot of blue somewhere. Maybe up in the clock hands. But yeah, it's so close to done. I'm going to finish it. And it will be marked down as a lesson learned. And I will have to try bokeh again. And oh, that one's an already done page. So those are my mythographic. Okay, now to the fun stuff. So like I said, I'm going to start with my favorites and work my way Two least favorites. That way, if you don't watch the whole video, at least you get to see the cool pages. First up, we have Lena Green. This is her Colors of the Wind freebie. Um, there is a four-part tutorial on this page. So if you need to watch just one, like the hair or the skin, they are separated into four segments. Thanks again to everyone that colored along with me. There were a bunch of you and so many kind words, and I was so thrilled and happy about it. I felt so special. So yes, here is my girl. She's Prismacolor, Mungo Pastels for the background, and washi tape. Super cute. If you do decide to join in, there is a link to this image in the description of the tutorial videos. And you're welcome to share it in the Facebook group and see the others that did joined in and had a great time. Alright, this one is Mermaid. This is out of Amandine Jung's new book. It is just barely released, um, if it's even out yet. I know there's a flip out, so I think it is, but I got to have a sneak peek page, so I went ahead and colored it. Um, I did forget the crystals at the top. Totally didn't even see them till way after I already submitted it and posted it everywhere. <laughs> so we're just going to roll with it. Um, I do like the colors of this page. There's a couple things I would change. Her hair's a little wild, um, and I don't really love the background, it, but it works. There is my cute little mermaid girl. Okay, this one is not one of my favorites, but it is done. Um, I did have fun with this. I just got a little messy um, right around here. But this is Don Denise Boyer, and this is out of Fairy Houses and Fairy Doors Volume 2. Um, this was a contest page in a group. I color it and post it, and she picks a winner. So... Um, I wasn't really in it for the contest. I just kind of wanted to color along with everybody, but it was fun. Definitely out of my comfort zone, but it was fun. So, 
Here's that one. Thanks to Don Boyer for supplying the page. Okay, quickly we're going to do this one because I butchered a page in here that I'm not sure I love. So we are on, I got to flip my book careful because there's so much media in it. I'm afraid my pages are going to fall out. So there's April. I'm not sure if I showed that one because I think I might have did touches, but yay. So I have summer to finish and one June and I'm all caught up. So here's July. This is the one I kind of killed. Um, I did this for Jamie's watercolor prompt, um, but I should have did the background a little different color. The paper held up well um, for being creative haven paper. It's a little crunchy, but it's not too warped and the colors didn't run too bad. I just think the colors I chose are not the way to go. Um, when I started, I was starting with a red, white, and blue theme. It's like red, white, blue, this kind of thing. And then changed it as I went. <laughs> Oh, I forgot this one. I have one more July to go. Here's August. This was just a straight contrast, straight color piece. Um, here's the second one for August, Poppies. Um, you can see where yellow's starting to bleed through. So I have autumn and September, and I will be sort of caught up, maybe. <laughs> so that's a year of flowers by Jessica Mazurkiewicz. Okay, I did a page in each of these so if you are not aware these books have some of the same pages oh sneak peek some of the same pages but they're drawn a little different um and then there are some different pages in there as well so i did one of each i started with this one which is a nice fun winter scene beauty in the beast winter enchantment i know it's a little early for snow but i got excited you will notice with my Thomas Kincaid pieces and this is true for most all of them I do not mimic the other side so yes I copied you know his light and his shadows and where it should be bright but like the dark trees in the back no mine are green um I didn't really like the statue color so he's nice and yellow <laughs> and that's just straight personal preference all about what you want so yeah there is the Disney princess by Thomas Kincaid and then this one is just the dreams collection and I have this one. So this was a buddy color with Meg, Disney Megs. And she had hers done. And I took clear up till today to get it done. Literally, like last minute, she probably gave up on me. I took so long. But I did pull it out. I did get it done. Um, these little dots in the background are chalk marker. The rest is Prismacolor and a white gel pen. And I'm really proud of how it turned out. It's nice. It's vibrant. Um, yeah, I'm glad I didn't rush it too much and ruin it. So that's nice to have that one done. So thank you, Disney Megs, for the buddy color. Appreciate it. And your patience. <laughs> yeah, there are two Disney ones out of the way. Okay, another fun one I did was out of this book. And I have not colored in this book since I got it. Or actually any of my Maria Troll books. Um, so I was super happy to jump in. So I did this when I first got the book, and it is not my favorite, but it's it's there. Um, it's there. Um, same with this. This was my attempt at clouds in Rainbow Bird. And actually, this it was my Arteza watercolors. <laughs> I just wanted to try them on good paper. So yeah. Anyways, back to. Here we have my Chinese cherry blossom garden. I'm very happy with how this page turned out. I really like the pink touches in the water of the flowers reflecting the sky. Very fun. So again, Prismacolors, all Prismacolors, minus the washi tape border. So that is Luna. I just realized I am missing Oh, some PDFs. Um, this page was for Laura Kilgore. I don't love it, um, I, but I did not have time to redo. So here is um, Laura Kilgore. This is out of her leopard book that is out now. And this one is by Nicolette Delafray. So she's having a coloring book contest. If you go to Facebook and you type in coloring book contest, there should be a group and you can get this page. Color it, submit it. Of course, I cropped mine, but um, you can submit it and the most likes by, I think it's the 15th of September, so you still have two weeks. Um, 
gets cover in a free book. So I mostly just wanted to try it out. It looked super fun. Um, yeah, so thank you to Nicolette for the freebie and the chance to win a cover image. Okay, here we are with some Camilla Angelkova. I did... It's my cute little raccoon from last year. <laughs> Nobody asked for that. I did this cute little camping scene. Um, I wanted to add some stars in the background, but I didn't. I probably still can, but... Um, I really like how this turned out. It was cute. It was simple. It was fun. Nice fall feel going on. Okay, the next one is this cute little deer. And this is all Sharpies. So every marker in here is a Sharpie. All the colors. The past, There is pastel in the background. Other than that, all Sharpies. And I am very happy with how she turned out. Very cute. I probably could have added a little gray right here, but I really didn't want to take away from anything else. So I went simple. Simple, simple. So Autumn Miniatures. I'm sure you will see that book again as it's finally getting fall, which is my time to shine. Hopefully my motivation and schedule works a little better for me this month than it did in August. Or in September, I should say. Because... So here's this. This is a buddy color with Jamie's Coloring Love. Um, this is also my page for Coloropoly for Countryside Scene. Um, I think it turned out pretty cute. I don't love the background, but the water turned out really well. The house is cute. The grass is okay. So yeah. Um, and you can see how much marker I used. Here's what it looks like. Just marker. <laughs> and then with the pencil on top. Such a big difference. It's really fun to watch the change as you do it. So yeah, um, that is the only one I got done in here. I thought about doing another one, but nope. There is 50 diminutive countryside scenes. That is such a mouthful. And last but not least, we have Fledgling Fairies. This is 40 Designs by Christine Caron, Coloring Heaven. I did this one. So the name on this one is Best Froggy Friend. And he is all Prismacolor with, of course, a pastel background. Um, she has some flare gel pen and a white gel pen on her dress for sparkles. Um, I don't love her pink hair. I would do it different now. When I was doing it, it looked right, but it didn't. It's one of those. It was a good idea at the time. <laughs> but that's okay. She still turned out pretty cute. So I have one done in that book. And then quickly, I have this one. Um, this is a freebie by Denise Siddick. And there is a color along on the pink hair on my channel. Um, I didn't get a background in, but she's pretty close to done. I'm just going to do a yellow to pink fade background. And then she'll be done. So yeah. Questions, comments, please leave them down below. I thank you for watching and those of you that have joined in on the couple color longs I did this month, truly appreciated. And I hope to see you next video. Happy September, everyone!